I'm registered dietitian Abby Sharp, and on my new podcast, Bite Back with Abby Sharp, I'll be dismantling the multi billion dollar diet industry that keeps us in a cycle of self loathing and food fear. Join me every Tuesday for expert interviews, engaging conversations, and my signature science and sass to bust myths, correct misinformation, and help you break free from diet culture for good. Listen for free on the Seeker app or wherever you get your podcasts. This is the Pooja and Gurdip podcast from 98.1 CHFI Studios in Toronto, Canada. Hey Toronto, this is Ed Sheeran. This is Kelly Clarkson. Hi, this is Brian Adams. This is Adele. This is Madonna. It's Michael Bublé. And you're listening to the Pooja and Gurdip show. It's fun. They're amazing. What I wouldn't give to hear Lisa play another one of her jazzy tunes. Saxophone. Saxophone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that is so classic. Uh, okay, so it is saxophone day. How well do you know your hot sax? We want you to play along with us. Um, Steph is going to quiz us, play clips of pop songs that we should know that feature the saxophone. That's the only one I know. The uh, one that's just me played. too. Careless Whisper, George <laughs> no, yeah. Michael. So Not in there. I'm just telling you right now. Each oh. clue is worth a maximum of two points, Pooj. If you identify the artist and the song, that's two. If you get one of them, that's one. So a, a total of six points are possible for each of us. Why don't you just say you won? I'm not going to do I, well. well. Why am I going to be better at this than you? I don't know why my sad. I don't think up already. Yeah, well, why do we have such a, a complex point system? Just, just one <laughs> point it, two it's points. It's one, one plus one. <laughs> <laughs> Man, it's so complex. <laughs> wow. Okay. Who's keeping score? Blair, are you going to keep score? Yeah. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Pooja, the first one's yours Jeez. since okay. you're already complaining. It's good thing it's not mad today. <laughs> Okay, here we go. Okay. Uh, oh. <laughs> wow. Um. Oh, I know the song. Uh, it's not Saxy Saxioki. It's name the sax. Yeah. <laughs> See, I can't do things like. You this. want it again? Yeah. I don't know. I'm going to steal. Uh, okay, steal? steal. Go ahead. I, I don't have the artist, but Maneater? Yes, from oh. Hollow Notes. Oh, uh, man. Nice. You were I almost there. I thought you were going to start yeah. singing it, but then you just kept You got right to the Maneater part you and you bailed. Doing. I know. <laughs> okay, Gurdip, here's yours. All right. Oh, come on. Um, hear it again? <laughs> Whitney Houston? Yes. Uh... Um, bodyguard? No. I'll I will always, always love, love you. you. I'll take yeah. the lunch. Oh, I know, but one. yes, Gurdip got it. Yeah. Okay, Pooch, here's yours. Ready? Okay. That's that sounds oh. like some stuff I used to watch late at night. When no, I was in it's high okay. my favorite. It's song. Teddy Swims. I know that. No, no, it's not. <laughs> Teddy wow. Swims. I know nope. that. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, no, so I good. don't know it. It's you want to can't steal? <laughs> no. In excess, never tear us apart. Oh, what a good song! Oh, it's yeah, so I still, good. I still don't know. Even after you told me. Okay, next one for Gurdip. <laughs> what? Oh, I know. <laughs> Let me hear it again. I know I the know. artist. Okay, can uh, Pooch do? Saxy Time by the Jazzy Boys? No. Pooch? I think it's Sade. Yes! Uh, 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 oh, can she steal two? Okay. Oh, she only got one. one. Okay, here we go. Mm-hmm. The humming's amazing. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh. But we need the song title or the artist, Pooja. She, she got laryngitis because she hummed too hard. It's <laughs> Modern Love, David Bowie. Oh. Okay, no. Gurdip, last one for you. Ready? <laughs> oh, oh, uh, Edwin McCain. Yeah! Uh, what? Crying shoulder? No, Cry- it's crying LB. Sol- oh my god, I'm so yeah. surprised you got Edwin it. Good McKay, job. He opened up for Hootie and the Blowfish. Right Loves on. his French fries. <laughs> What's the score? Three for Gertie, one for Pooja. Yay. I don't, I don't suck completely. <laughs> <laughs> the Pooja and Gertie podcast from ninety-eight point one CHFI. And now another Pooja masterclass from TikTok University. You know, I try to impart some of the knowledge I get from TikTok. Sometimes you can learn some interesting things. Sometimes you learn things that you're like, say what now? So if you were to search 
guys in gray sweatpants or when he wears gray sweatpants into TikTok, you will see a hundred, sorry, 132 million posts on TikTok that have to do with this because apparently it's the hottest thing going. What? Yes. Men in gray sweatpants. It's gray sweatpants season, apparently. Let me just get out my uh, giant uh, grain of salt. And also, I'm really <laughs> questioning what you're doing with your free time that you're <laughs> searching this. And how did you even come across this? You know, they like the information finds me. I don't even have to find <laughs> wow. it. Yes. <laughs> okay. Now, I ask you. Single Gurdib, do you own a pair of gray sweatpants? Not a sexy one. <laughs> I own a pair. I mean, they're not that new. They're they. If I'm wearing them, I'm not leaving the condo. Like they're really? they're gray. Or they're probably a couple holes. They're a little skidzy. Like, Whoa! Like no, it's not. Do you feel sexy in them? Absolutely not. They're probably my <laughs> least sexy pair of sweatpants. Now that you know that women are searching this on TikTok, 132 million posts on TikTok about men in gray sweatpants. It has to be gray. And there's different shades of gray, as we've learned. About 50, I'm told. Yes, <laughs> as we've learned. So, you know, light gray, dark gray, they all work. Which is the one where they all work? There's they no... all work. I've seen, now I've seen several videos. What about, what about a charcoal? A smoky Even a charcoal. Sh- I got a nice smoky charcoal track, man. Try it. I, I want you to report back. But I will say this, as weird as this is, you never know what that thing might be that is attractive of the opposite sex. Like, sometimes it's not your typical thing, right? Like that, That's true. Yeah, like there are other things that are not... Typically sexy, that or I, traditionally sexy. Yeah, like, I like I love uh, a girl with unexpected hobbies. What? Yeah, like a girl who can like skate. unexpected hobbies. Yeah, like if you you go on a couple dates with a girl and you find out she knows how to skateboard or she can like change a tire, <laughs> immediate turn on. Wow. Yeah. I you, mean, I, I get what you're saying, but we're like we're talking about like first impressions. You look at someone. You you look at someone and go, I wonder what she does in her spare okay, time. Well, like if I if I pass a girl on the road who's like welding, I'm like, <laughs> yes. <laughs> You, yes. A woman on the side of the highway with her blown tire, you're like, that girl is my kind she of girl. She ain't calling CAA. She's doing it herself. <laughs> well, okay, fine. A girl who can eat unapologetically. Oh, You that's go on a good. first date with a girl and they can eat. They're finishing their meal. They're ordering dessert. I'm like, that is very attractive. They're, they wear a bib. They're slurping. It's the whole thing. That's very attractive oh, to you. Getting into some different territory now. <laughs> See, uh, what about you? I find, I don't know what it is. I find it on men and women attractive. Crow's feet crow's feet there's something about in the eyes when i see crow's feet i just find it so attractive you find it sexy on crows as well (laughs) no then it's just the feet okay okay crows okay so the lines you get sort of beside your eyes okay yeah that's nice that's a good one and maybe it's about aging gracefully i don't know but i like it i like that too okay i i think we're on to something here i'm not feeling the gray sweatpants but i think there's something to what is your sexy what is your strange sexy from CHFI Studios, it's the Pooja and Gurdip Podcast. What is your strange sexy? And we're asking this because Pooja came across this TikTok phenomenon. Apparently there's quite uh, the content on men wearing gray sweatpants and how that is apparently very sexy for some reason. It's gray sweatpants season. Yeah. And you didn't even know. Now I'm encouraging you well, to wear yours out and about and see what happens. There's a few people texting in saying, do you guys know why this is attractive? Um, and I can't even explain the answer on the, the air without getting is, in trouble. The why is not important. Well, apparently it is. <laughs> apparently you and I missed the uh, the memo on why certain people like this. But anyways, let's just go with what is your strange sexy? Yeah, because it maybe it isn't something that's typical that you find attractive. And we want to know what that is. Patty from Scarborough, what's it for you? Tiny little tights on a guy. Tiny little tights? Tiny, on, a, on a lean, a perfectly mean body. Kind of like a cyclist body. Okay. Okay, so you like some bike shorts. Maybe you like hitting up the ballet on occasion. <laughs> uh, no, no, not the bike shorts. Like, I've seen the bike shorts, but just those little pants. I've only seen those once. <laughs> oh, hey, nice boy. <laughs> <laughs> Patty, I'm going to have to see how many searches on TikTok for that. But, uh, tight tights. Okay, prob- probably none. <laughs> well, Patty, it's so nice to chat. I love listening to you guys. Aww. You're Aww. awesome. Thanks, Patty. Thanks, Patty. N- Namaste. So many great texts coming in here. What is your strange sexy? J- anytime Jason Hall texts us, I know it's going to be comedy gold. <laughs> Jason says, my strange sexy is when you see someone blow dry their hair, huh? I keep imagining it in slow motion <laughs> as they stare back at me. <laughs> He's watched too many Pantene commercials. That is true. That is true. But you know what? You do you, Jason. Uh, <laughs> and Dreen from Hamilton, what is your strange sexy? I think when a man smiles and his teeth is white. <laughs> <laughs> when a man smiles and his teeth are white. <laughs> Yes. Uh, and Dreen, um, I'm not trying to, I'm not here to judge, but I feel like that maybe is a bit of a low bar. <laughs> <laughs> 
All right. And, and drink, I mean, we got to we got to up your standards, girl. <laughs> I know, but you know that's the first thing you see, right? Yes. That's, that's true. Yes. And look, whatever is attractive to you is attractive to you. There's no judgment. Yes. Okay. And and Dreen, stop stop dating yellow teeth smokers, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for the call. Bye. Bye. It's not just your calls that have us laughing. Your texts are great, too, to 981981. Fabiana writing, my strange sexy is a man in a crispy white shirt. Crispy. Doesn't she mean crisp? Just crisp, yeah. Crispy. It's so crispy, you flick it and it's, it just shatters. You know what? There is something to it, though, with a nice collar. See, that, I guess it's a classic look. That yeah. with blue jeans, crisp white shirt. Mm-hmm. Again, everything comes back to James Dean, I guess. Uh, what is your strange sexy? Uh, Gary from Uxbridge. Oh, dear. Leg warmers. Oh, yeah. The movie Flashdance. Yes. Oh, I got you. (laughs) Yeah. And so they came back in style. So now when you see them, you're like, oh, yeah. Oh, oh, you know what? It accentuates the legs so nicely. And it's I I had a pair made for my wife. Oh, I thought you were going to say for yourself. (laughs) No, 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 no. We're not going that far. (laughs) You you had a pair made for like custom made for your wife? Yes. What were some of the specs you dialed up? (laughs) Oh, it just, like, they had to be long enough so they ruffled pr- properly. And oh. did she appreciate this gift? Get the, you can get the ones that are, like, tight, and that's not that's not the same. And, and hey. did she appreciate the gift? Oh, yeah. Oh, trust me, yeah. I, I, think, I, think, <laughs> I think Gary appreciated it more than his wife. <laughs> I, uh, yes, I will say that, yes. <laughs> it's the gift that keeps on giving. Uh, Gary, thanks <laughs> <Yeah>. for the call. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, Gary. <laughs> Bye. Wow. <Rawr>. Okay. <laughs> Uh, Nikki from Hamilton, what is your strange sexy? She says, my strange sexy is when I see my man in the kitchen cooking and cleaning, but the icing on the cake, the apron. Oh, the apron. Does that do it for you? I think so. An apron? There's something about the apron. Okay. Yeah. What about just an apron? Well, that's a different, that's a whole. That's a different chat. That's a different thing Do we altogether. have time for one more here, Steph? Okay. What is your strange sexy? We're going to our friend Frankie Flowers from Breakfast Television. What is it for you, Frankie? Gardening gloves. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, hold on. On someone else? Or, well, no, on me. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so looking at your own hands and gardening gloves uh, it turns you on. Yeah, it, it, no, it's just when, just when I wear garden gloves. Ooh, that is sexy. Uh, <laughs> on, on, on the opposite sex, right. a ball cap. Oh, oh, yes. That's a good one. I'm so with you. Can I add a little detail to it? The, with a ponytail pulled out through the yeah. back? Yes, <laughs> yeah. the ponytail out the back, and maybe they're jogging on the beach. <laughs> In slow motion. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm not thinking day watch at this moment. I was just thinking, you know, somebody like the casual ball cap walking yes. down the street with a ponytail at the back. They look super comfortable. They're comfortable with themselves. You're like, wow, that's confident sexy. I am so with you. Wow. I'm not 100% Frankie. I got to tell yeah. you, uh, Frankie, I just looked it up on TikTok and it looks like you're right. Like a ball cap on a woman. High views, like in the millions. Gloves? Gardening gloves on a man, zero views. None. I haven't seen any yet. You know what? I, they always tell me to be unique and break barriers. And that's exactly who I am. Also, Pooja, what did you just search on TikTok? Uh, Frankie, thanks for your time, buddy. We love you. Okay, have a wonderful day, guys. You too. The Pooja Ingerdeep Podcast. I'm registered dietitian Abby Sharp, and on my new podcast, Bite Back with Abby Sharp, I'll be dismantling the multi billion dollar diet industry that keeps us in a cycle of self loathing and food fear. Join me every Tuesday for expert interviews, engaging conversations, and my signature science and sass to bust myths, correct misinformation, and help you break free from diet culture for good. Listen for free on the Seeker app or wherever you get your podcasts. This is the Pooja and Gurdjieff Podcast. Well, today is Take Your Kid to Work Day, and hundreds are participating across Ontario. Maybe it's going to be... Probably thousands. Yeah, thousands. I mean, once you go to work, I guess you'll see and maybe meet all of the grade 9 students. Uh, Did you ever participate in it? I never... It wasn't offered at my school. I think my grade 9 year was 1997-98, and it was the year there was a lot of strikes happening. So a lot of our extra programming, leadership camps, I think Take Your Kid to Work Day, it got nixed, which is very unfortunate Uh, because I would have loved that. Yeah, I actually did uh, go to a workplace. It wasn't my parents parents' workplace, I actually reached out. They must have loved that. I know. I was like, I don't want to go to your work. I reached out to City TV and a reporter at the time, her name was Natalie Pujot, and I asked her if I could come shadow her, and she said, yeah, and I, I had the coolest story coming back. 
that I got to go and watch her report. She was at Queen's Park that day, and it was... Great initiative on your part. Yeah. Did you, your email sound something like, Dearest Natalie, your last name is basically my first name. Can I shadow you? <laughs> that was exactly it, minus the British accent. But yes, that was exactly it. And uh, we actually have a grade 9 student with us right yes. now in studio, Enrico. Good Welcome. morning, Enrico. How are you, are you feeling? I'm feeling good. Okay. It's early. It's I like early. that. All right. I feel like I'm doing a... Hockey Night in Canada interview after the first period. How'd that period go? Feeling good. <laughs> yeah, puck, pucks in deep. Okay, first impression. Be honest, Enrico. Uh, I don't know if you listen to the radio or this show regularly, but when you hear radio, is this what you pictured when you walked in? I pictured it to be way smaller than it is. Oh. Oh. I nice. pictured us to just be like in a little huddle in a room. Okay. Oh, <laughs> a tiny nice. little oh. room. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. This, this feels like a tiny huddle to me, but I guess. Yeah, this feels pretty intimate. Pooja and Steph are way too close to me right now. <laughs> so um, you could have went to your parents' workplace, but you chose to come here. How come? I don't know. It just seems cool to be here on the radio. Seems cool. Can we can we ask it what feels your, cool. Can we ask what your parents do? My dad does construction and my mom is at home. Oh nice. Okay. Construction would be fun. I'd rather go there than no. be here. <laughs> can, I, can I go to take your kids to work day with your dad? That's so fun. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, I know it's been all of, I don't know, half an hour that you've been here. Um, who do you like better, me or Gurdip? Wow. That's Too a soon? hard choice. I know, I know. I, I just can't make a decision. <laughs> Very political. Actually, yes. his favorite is Diplomatic. Steph because Steph brought him. I was going to say, you should yes, go off the board. You're, the answer is Steph. Yeah. The answer yeah. is Producer absolutely Steph. Steph. I mean, we all pick Producer Steph. That's right. the truth. This is, this is yeah. true. From CHFI Studios, it's the Pooja and Gurdip Podcast. So I know you're really into it, Steph. You took your kids to a haunted house. Yeah. How did that go? My daughter loves going, and so my son actually wanted to try it. He loves going to the Halloween stores and getting scared. Right. But he wasn't sure about the haunted house because he can't escape. It's different when it's in the Halloween stores, it's the animatronics. <laughs> yeah. But in the haunted house, it's like real actors. Yeah. It's like... It's terrifying. And it's like the jump scares, right? Like yes. so and people like grabbing out at you. So that's And then freaky. they follow you? Yeah. And, like yeah. touch your ankles. I'm like, Dah. So he was not a fan of it. He actually hated it. it. Yeah. Did not enjoy it. Okay, at so all. you got him hyped up. He thought he was gonna love it. He <laughs> yeah. tried it. He's like, No, he... I'm done. That was good. Never again. Yeah, that's fair. You know what though? The old saying, don't knock it till you try it. I yeah. agree with that. Like form try something, form your own opinion. But if you try it like your son did, yeah. and then you hate it, that's fine. Yeah. You legitimately At least hate you it. tried it. Yeah, because I I'm a big on forming your own opinion. I feel that way about camping. Yes. I tried it and I <laughs> Me too. Hate it. Yeah, everyone's like, oh, let's go camping. Let's used vacation days. You go out, you sleep on a sleeping bag Ugh. in a tent, you get a sore back. It's, it's charming. Damp. For, it, yes, damp. It's charming for one meal eating hot dogs cooked over a fire. I'll tell you what, by day three, I'm like, guys, I need a little greens. Day I'm three? Sick of, I'm sick of the meat over the fire. That first night when you get to sleep outside and it's damp, and I'm And then you know. smell like campfire for like a week. Yeah, no. There's no way to shower. I agree. It's, camping sucks. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Give me a cabin with like running water. Yeah, thank yeah. you. I'll glamp. I'll yes. happily try glamping. Yes. But, um, Boss Mibbler, have you uh, ever tried anything and hated it? Two words. Bubble tea. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes, I'm with you on this. Just a mouthful of marbles <sighs> if you take it. Pick a lane. It's not marbles. Dessert or beverage. It's delicious. What nope. are you? And I hate that you're taking a sip of something and all of a sudden one of those balls flies up the straw. Like, what is it? <laughs> what is that? Is it tapioca? No, it's I'm coming. Like, it's not no, a it's surprise. T- it's awful. Any- what are they? <laughs> the, 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 like tapioca? Tapioca. <laughs> Anything with a straw that thick? I'm like, what am I drinking? Stew? <laughs> yes. Stew. Oh, that's These a chunks great idea. Stew tea. Tea. You're going to drink hot stew with a straw? Yeah. I had a hot bubble tea when we went to a movie. It was so good. No, no. I'm with you. I tried it and hated it. Okay, there you go. There's a long list. Tried it, knocking it. How about that? The Pooja and Grady Podcast. From 98.1 CHFI. You know the old saying, um, don't knock it till you try it? Was there ever anything you tried and you instantly knew, okay, yeah, and you know what? I'm knocking it. Tried it, knocking it. We're looking for those stories. Janice and Milton, what's that for you? Liver. Oh, yeah. liver. I've never tried that. What, what's it like? Oh. It's awful. <laughs> not even edible in my opinion. So did you assume you were not going to like it? And you're like, you know what? Let me give this an honest effort. And then you tried it and you were like. Ugh. Yeah, I like it even looks gross when it's raw. So I kind of knew I wasn't going to like it. It's even the name and, of it. The name of it uh, immediately. I, yeah. It's not appetizing. No, okay. definitely not. Janice, that's a good one. Thanks for the call. No problem. Have a good day. And I should add, the reason we're talking about this, Steph, you took your um, kids to a haunted house. Your daughter loves them. You love them. You thought your son would love them, but your son was no. like, get me the bleep no. out of here. He's like, I'm done. 
Yeah. yeah. And no, I'm good. Tried it, hated it. That's fair. Listen, <laughs> if you try it, you're allowed to form that opinion. For me, it was camping. Camping, yeah. camping sucks. Yeah. It's terrible. No, I don't it's get it. Terrible back. No. And I want some heat. I want running water. Hot dogs for three days. I want the toilet in the yeah, same no, room. No, no thanks. My... Uh, what is the thing that you tried it and you were knocking it? Things that you tried and you instantly did not like it. Apollonia in Mississauga, what was that for you? Anchovies. Anchovies. Okay, so uh, did you try it like on its own, on a pizza and a salad? How did you have it? Uh, So my husband made me this pasta. He really loves this pasta and it's his favorite pasta. And he made me try anchovies for the first time. It was so salty and so disgusting. (laughs) And I just put on a smiling face and was like, hmm, so delicious. Oh, the things we do for love. Uh, Well, you gave it an honest effort, right? Yeah, I sure did. (laughs) Polonia, thanks for the call. Yeah. Take care. Have a good day. Okay, so what are the things you tried that you're uh, knocking here? Getting some texts coming in as well. Someone just texted in one word. Scotch. Uh, That's from Jeff. Agreed. Jeff saying Jeff, scotch. Agree. It's an acquired taste. That'll put some hair on your chest, Jeff. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's why I don't like drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about this text? I was uh, shocked at how much I hate weighted blankets. People say so many good things about them. I put it over me, boom, instant claustrophobia. <laughs> I don't even have claustrophobia except with weighted blankets. I will say they're very polarizing. Yeah. They're not for everyone. I love them, but I know a lot of people who cannot stand them. But I think you don't realize until you have one or you've tried one how heavy they actually are, They, too. they actually have different weights. So yeah. I've got a 15-pounder and a 25-pounder. Wow. I like them both equally, like my children. Um <laughs> But I tried putting them both on top of each other to make it a 40-pounder. Wow. That was too what much. Is wrong that was too much. You? That was too much. Yeah, no. Uh, Mary from Belleville texting in saying, good morning, Gurdip and Steph and Blair. I went fishing once, caught a fish, took a photo. I'm done. Take me back to shore. That- <laughs> <laughs> Had enough. But she tried it. She tried it. She yeah. gave it an honest effort. And we'll finish up on this text from Alexis in Pickering. Marriage. Yeah. Hated it. Thanks for listening to the Pooja and Gurdip podcast. Listen to Pooja and Gurdip live weekday mornings from 5 to 9. Only on 98.1 CHFI. Toronto's perfect music mix. I'm registered dietitian Abby Sharp, and on my new podcast, Bite Back with Abby Sharp, I'll be dismantling the multi billion dollar diet industry that keeps us in a cycle of self loathing and food fear. Join me every Tuesday for expert interviews, engaging conversations, and my signature science and sass to bust myths, correct misinformation, and help you break free from diet culture for good. Listen for free on the Seeker app or wherever you get your podcasts.